Pokemon is dead to me. I was just kidding, but can you imagine if that's the beginning of the video? How's it going guys? Nerd here. So I just wanted to make a video on how do I feel regarding the news or updates on Pokemon Sword and Shield. And if you have been playing the main series of Pokemon and you haven't heard the news, then you should listen a bit. Pokemon Sword and Shield will not have the national Pokedex. Now, it was announced by Junichi Masuda on uh, Nintendo Treehouse in E3 that there will be no national decks and there will be no way to transfer uh, Pokemon from Pokemon Home to Pokemon Sword and Shield if that specific Pokemon is not in the Galar region Pokedex. Now, Junichi Masuda uh, stated that the main reason is that there are like 800 or over 800 Pokemon uh, right now, and it'll be hard for them to do all of the Pokemon since they are creating it with much higher fidelity and quality animations. <laughs> They don't even they don't even compare to A titles nowadays when it comes to games. Now some people will be like, you don't know how to how hard to develop uh, all that stuff. And let me tell you this now, I'll tell you this once. There are two solutions on this that as I can see it. Game Freak can add resources if they really want to push the release dates. Or better yet, uh, they could delay the release and work have more work time with regards to uh developing the graphics or the animation and all that stuff for all the 800 or even a thousand pokemon easily now knowing that uh, i saw one of uh, silk specter's video which i will link below with the statements from uh, i forgot the name let me ch let me check real quick the game director the game freak director masayuki onoe uh, it's in the screen i don't know how to pronounce his name but he confirmed that pokemon is not their priority right now and there were actually uh two groups uh within game freak uh the first group which is mostly like senior developers uh i would assume is fully dedicated on the gear project i don't know what that means but uh it says here that which is encouraging developers to pitch original games during the slow periods i don't know what that means but uh i'm assuming that that's whenever there's a downtime they would they want to like have their own original title because game freak has been tied to pokemon for years now and maybe they want to steer away from pokemon as well um but i'll explain to i'll, I'll explain why later um and then there's the second group which uh develops uh on the pokemon operations which handles the pokemon operations is what i meant now um back to what Junichi masuda said in the treehouse he then proceeds to say that the other reason is all to balance the battle system and maybe give way or make chance for other pokemon to shine in the series now to me this is a contradicting statement because or it's a false statement i don't know what you call that um he wants certain pokemon to shine in this next generation but then he removed most of the pokemon the national decks so um they limited the pokedex into say around 200 to 300 i don't know but it will make it will make the game more restricting which means there will be a lot of overused pokemon which we saw we clearly saw in the past for even if we have national decks say for example mega kangaskhan that's one it, it was overused to its i don't know to the end of the world but uh they nerf him same with talonflame with brave bird priority and all that stuff um if anything else it actually makes the competitive scene less diverse for me uh, which is the exact opposite of what he said. I would assume that this would also apply in future games, that there won't be any national dexes anymore, but uh, let's see what direction they sh they steer. Uh, honestly, I'm still hoping that, that maybe there's a little glimmer of hope, but I don't know. 
Also, by the way, uh, they were, they would remove the Z moves, which I'm totally fine with because uh, Z move is just you know, I'm not kind of feeling it. Uh, actually, I played Pokemon Sun and Ultra Sun and Moon. I wasn't using uh, Z moves in its full potential. <laughs> now uh, they are also removing the Mega Evolutions. Now this is the one that gets me off the game. I I, I mean kind of off because. <laughs> Uh, to be honest with you, I I'm not planning to buy the game anymore, but let's see what happens, but uh, let me go continue with the Mega Evolution. So, uh, this is more proof that they don't care about the balance and other Pokemon being given a chance. So, if that happens, um, you will not be able to see Beedrill, that's one, uh, who's a Mega. Uh, Audino, you, you won't see a uh, cleric Audino in a VGC format now. Uh, there's Altaria, which I don't know if people use. I think they pe people use it for hyper voice uh, um, being, you know, spread move plus the, what should we call that? Pixelate ability. Uh, Pidgeot, which is uh, Mega Pidgeot, is so underrated. Uh, it can set up Tailwind and all that stuff in VGC. If you have a rain team, there you go. You have a Hurricane, which doesn't miss. And my favorite one is Mega Manectric, which is actually I use in once, not VGC. I, I use Mega Manectric in once or because it's a good pivot. Pivot? 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 I don't know how, how to pronounce that word, but that's just the pivot, I think. But that's very sad, dude. Um, many more Pokemon uh, will not shine in competitive scene without their Mega Evolution. So for me, one of the reasons that I'm thinking that this happened is because Pokemon is a bit steering away from the console. Now that might be a false statement, it's just my assumption. Uh, it's what I think. So for me, you can check the stats on how much profit Pokemon Company got from releasing Pokemon Go since the release and clearly it their stocks or uh, profits skyrocketed because of Pokemon Go. Now I won't say this is a bad thing because you know if Pokemon profits skyrockets then they can have future development in this stuff. I, I, I'm kind of saying this because I have saw that they're developing another or they're in their way to release a new title in the mobile which is Pokemon Masters. It looks like the mobile competitive thing for Pokemon which honestly I don't care about this much because who wants to play in their mobile nowadays? I mean clearly a bunch of losers and all that stuff. Internationally known. I think it's this, this is the step that they're making moving away from the console a bit and just having the main series there and have a lot of uh, spin up or side titles which generates a lot of profit but uh, to me if this continues then maybe one day we'll get a shit Pokemon game which not mu with not much depth or anything in it but who knows um, anyway I just wanted to say all of those things because this is this news is pretty bad for the future of Pokemon I think and I care so much about this game tile since I've been playing it uh, for years now from when I was a kid uh, but yeah I, I think we're living a black mirror episode when it comes to Pokemon now like I mean Pokemon hasn't been listening to fans ever since so I don't know about that but basically that's it um, if you have any comments or if you have any you let me let me know of your thoughts or your opinions and please don't be a dick and say you don't know anything nerd you're like a stupid guy or you don't know shit about this because i will wreck the living shit out of you in the comments but basically that's it so see you guys on the next video peace